Welcome to Adorable Corner, where sensible reigns. It is our promise to keep you informed and entertained with all that makes sense. Do subscribe to this channel and like our videos always. Hello, welcome to yet another tutorial from the stable of Adarbo's Corner where everything that has sense rain. Today we are talking about commentary screen reader, CSR. I'm sure you might have been hearing about this new screen reader on Android. And if you have not heard about it, this is a golden opportunity for you to know about it. Yes, CSR, commentary screen reader commentary screen reader is an application made by abu technology in china and so far so good they're doing well in terms of you know android screen reader it has two versions the local version which is uh, made in okay the two of them are made in chinese but the local version contain Chinese languages that's one is called CSR commentary screen reader there is an international version called Jisho Jisho is the translation of the Chinese version into English and in this tutorial we are just going to be learning how to install and do the basic setup of commentary screen reader of course when we talk about installing first thing you need to get the app so I already have Jishua on my phone, that is the international version. So I'll launch it right now and let install together. Home button. Home screen one of one. Apps list. So I'll go to my app list. App suggestions. High queue in grid. Ten rows. Five columns. Then I'll look for Jishuo. Maps. Keep, keep no Jishuo. I'll launch it. Alert! Welcome to Commentary Screen Reader. Welcome to Commentary Screen Reader, the best Android screen reading software. Choose one of the three options. Setup Wizard lets you set up basic settings to help get you started quickly. Click on View Permissions to read about various permissions and exit to leave the wizard. So this is what you're going to hear when you click on commentary screen reader after you install it on your Android. Of course, I do not need to teach you how to install app. All you need to do is to just download the APK, then click on it and the application will start to install on your phone after you have clicked the install button. So I'll swipe right now. Configuration wizard button you have configuration wizard if i swipe again permission description button we have permission description if i go again exit button exits so this uh what we have here we're gonna click on the first one which is configuration wizard permission configuration wizard button let's click here alert check permissions click next to grant basic permissions or cancel to exit so we click on next exit cancel Bu next step button next step Allow Jishuo to make and manage phone calls. Allow button. Here you have some permissions to ground. You are not going to ground all. I'll show you what to ground and what not to ground. The first one. Do not allow button. Allow Jishuo to make and manage phone calls. The permission to make and manage phone calls. You are going to ground this because it is very necessary for commentary screen to have this permission. Because it's going to be reading your call log and your call status. So let's allow. Allow. Allow Jishuo to access photos, media, and files on your device. Allow button. Photos and media permission is also very necessary because it's going to be reading a lot of things that has to do with your photos and media. So let's allow it. Deny. Allow. Use left right swipes to navigate. Good. Now we are in another section um, called gesture. 
this is where you are going to select how you are going to navigate with commentary screen reader commentary screen reader has two modes of navigation we have left right swipe and the up and down swipe so let's swipe now commentary screen reader supports various navigation modes the default one is to use the up and down swipe gestures as the default movement gestures however if you are used to swiping left and right for movement you can set it here too swipe left now to use the default gesture set or swipe right to use the alternative gesture set so you are going to swipe right again to choose what gesture you want to use using the alternative gesture theme button now if you select on these you are going to have the same left and right swipe just as you have it on talk back if i swipe right again using the default gesture theme button that's the default gesture theme if you activate these you are going to be swiping up and down instead of swiping right and left we're going to be explaining more about this in our subsequent tutorial on csr so for now i'm gonna go the top back way and choose the alternative gesture using the alternative gesture theme button i'll click here alert read usage hints usage hints can help a novice user familiarize themselves with the usage of the screen reader if this is your first time using your mobile phone we recommend to enable this option for a seamless experience however if you are an experienced mobile user we recommend turning this option off for more concise experience just like you've heard this is usage hint you know on talkback when you put your hand on something or you swipe you hear double tap to activate double tap and hold to long press that's what we call usage hint commentary screen that has it better so if you want usage hint to be spoken you swipe here usage hints will be read button that's just swiping right so if you don't want you swipe right again usage hints will not be read button. it will not be read so that's what i'm going to choose but i would not advise you choose this if you um if you are a beginner you know if you're a beginner just you choose the first option but if you know your way with screen readers then you can just choose the second option so i'm gonna choose the second option here i will explain more about it in subsequent tutorials alert read the list range reading the index of the currently focused element on a list might help you orientate better in the length and your current position in the list however the read prompts will be longer and some people might find it difficult or disturbing reading list range list range simply means that when you swipe on an item commentary screen reader will number it if you swipe again it will give it another number you know something like one messages two phone three fm radio you get so it's just like that so if i want it to be read i'll swipe right once usage hints will be read button if i don't want it i'll swipe right again usage hints will not be read button i'll choose this because i don't want it to be read alert read notifications from the notifications panel reading notification will allow the screen reader to read incoming notifications turn this option on in order to have all notifications read if you do not want to be disturbed we recommend turning this option off reading notification if you want commentary screen reader to read anything that you have from your notification area then you turn it on if you don't want it you turn it off let's swipe notifications will be read button if you want it this is where you click if you don't you swipe right one more time notifications will not be read button this is what works for me alert use a single tts engine select if you want to use two tts engines for reading the first one will be used for reading main information like the current focus and other very important things the second engine will be used to read notification and any other has important messages like the bubbles one dynamic feature of commentary screen reader it is possible for you to use two tts yes at the same time you heard me right one would read just like your system tts you know when you swipe it will be reading everything then the second one which is the secondary tts will just read anything that is coming from your notification if you want to use two tts together you swipe right the single tts engine will be used button you do that again two tts engines will be used button good two 
TTS engine will be used. So if I don't want to use two TTS, I would just want to use one, just like you have it on TalkBack. I'll swipe left. The single TTS engine will be used. Then Button. I'll click here. Alert the setup is complete. You can set calm and restart the setup wizard. So it says the setup is complete. So you swipe until you hear OK. OK. Button. You click here. G -show. Configuration wizard. One of but seven. we're not seven done items. yet. I'm still gonna show you something. Let's swipe right. Check permissions. Two of seven. Check permissions. We need to check if all the necessary permissions has been set up. So let's click here. Alert permission is denied. Access approximate location. Network based. Only in the foreground. One of eleven. In list. Eleven items. So from what you can hear now, we still have some permission denied. So we're gonna ground them so that it will work smoothly. Directly call phone number. This request That's modify fine. record access take picture answer read your com access cancel OK button. You click on OK button. Allow Gshow to access your contacts. Allow button. Yes, just click on allow because it's going to read your contact. Allow Gshow to take pictures and record video. Allow button. Yes, you are also going to allow Gshow to take and record because it has built-in OCR. So for that, it needs to record. Allow Gshow to access this device's location. Allow all the time button. Good. For me and to many other sensible users, this permission is not needed by any screen reader location access is not needed so i don't know why the developer allow this permission to exist so for me i would always advise that you not allow this you disable it completely allow only deny button you deny it that's it allow g show to record audio allow button yeah let's allow this g show check permissions two of seven in list seven items i'll swipe right again check the status of permissions used for the program's floating windows three of seven good we need to check the permission that the program will use for floating windows let's click here alert permission for floating windows have been denied floating window permission helps with functions such as screen curtain so if you like, if you are the type that you want to use your screen curtain and you want your screen to be dimmed to zero, you need to allow this permission that says the commentary screen that would display over any other apps. Cancel. Opt-in permissions. Opt-in. Let's go. Display over other apps. Navigate up. Button. Yeah, that's it. Display over any other app. Display Let's over see search settings. How we're gonna allow it? Gshow. Allow display Swipe over other right. apps. Off. Switch. So two of three. It's off by default. I'm gonna turn it on. On. That done. I will press the back button. Back. Gshow. Check the status of permissions used for the program's floating windows. Three of seven. In list. Seven items. Still, I'll be swiping right. Check battery optimization permissions for proper functioning of the program. Four of seven. Good. Battery optimization is very, very important. So let's ground the necessary permissions here. Alert battery optimization. Ignore permissions have been denied. Ignoring of the battery optimization helps the screen reader to function properly. Let's swipe right. Cancel. But OK. Button. OK. Let's click. Let app always run in background. Allowing Gshow to always run in the background may reduce battery life. You can change this later from settings, apps and notifications. Yes, we know it's going to reduce battery life, but this is a screen reader. So we need to ground it because if the application is not running at the background, it won't work well because anytime it stops, you need to resume its working again. And that might be so stressful. So allow it to work at the background. Deny, but allow, button. I'll click on allow. Gshow. Check battery optimization permissions for proper functioning of the program. Four of seven. In list. Seven items. So, as it is, that has been done. Let's swipe right again. Check the notification permissions. Five of seven. The notification permission, if you want to check notification permission, like the application should um, read notification just like i explained at the beginning this is where you go but i'm not going to be going there because we've dealt with that comma six of seven 
We don't need all these. This is uh, not necessary. Open commentary screen reader about page. Seven we also of seven. don't need this. So let's press the back button here. Back. Jishuo. 20 million two hundred ten thousand one hundred two I. So I've just pressed the back button. Right now, I will be showing you how to launch commentary screen reader when you install and perform all of this setup. And that's where we're going to be ending today's tutorial. Next one will come very, very soon about commentary screen that you don't want to miss it. Share this with your friends and let them share with some other friends. So let's keep swiping until we get to accessibility settings. Notification, advanced, ex, plugin, download, cloud note, access, user, accessibility settings, 12 of 15. Wait there, we we'll press enter here, or you click. Accessibility. Ac let's keep typing. Downloaded and services. Let's look for Jishuo. Access, app clone, Jishuo, off, 5 of 32. So it is off, we're gonna be turning it on. Jishuo, navigate up, button. So let's swipe. Jishuo, use service, off. Switch. You toggle these on. Alert allow Jishuo to have full control of your device. Full control is appropriate for apps that help you with accessibility needs. That's why I've to okay. View it. It can view it. It can allow. Do not allow. Oh, button. allow. That's the button. Not okay. So click here. Use sir. Welcome to commentary screener. So like this commentary screen that is on, I'm gonna be switching off my talkback. Good. So I'm using a uh, commentary screen that right now, as you can see, the speed of the TTS has greatly increased. I'm also going to be showing you how to do all of these to control your speed, to do so many things on commentary screen. That I will tell you this application is very, very wild. It's very, very wild and it contains features that in fact, you need as a visually impaired or a blind person who is going to be using Android. I can tell you it's far better than TalkBack, even though it still needs some optimization and, you know, some features to be released. It still needs some cleanup, but better still, um, it's still far, far better or preferable than, you know, the Google TalkBack as we have it right now. So let me swipe. On switch on. Settings. Commentary screen is a program which will help blind people use their mobile phones. We made some tips for innovation. For more details, open settings help. Some functionality is restricted. Until you purchase the full version, for details, please contact the customer. Navigate up. Commentary screen is a program which will help blind people use their mobile phones. We made some tips for innovation. For more details, open settings help. Some functionality is restricted. Until you purchase the full version, for details, please contact the customer service in the official QQ group. Features. Voice assistant. Use your phone without touching the voice. Assistant. Extensions. Install extension. Settings. On switch on. Use service on switch off. Gigio. So this is all what it is on installing commentary screen reader and doing the basic set up till another time when i'll be coming your way with another tutorial on commentary screen reader stay blessed stay safe see you next time thank you for your precious time watching and listening we value your comment on our videos for questions and concerns, please call plus two three four eight zero six one six zero nine one three four or send a mail to Emmanuel Junaid H at Gmail dot com E M M A N U E L J U N A I D H at gmail.com Catch you on the next video. Cheers!